Oh, hello, friends. Greetings, greetings. How are you in this lovely day? Oh my gosh. So if there were two key areas or even one, if you had to pick one key area on Facebook for business, not talking personal use, but for business use, what would you say that you have the most challenges with? Like, where is it that Facebook just continually has you like tearing out your hair and going crazy because every time you turn around, something's just screwed up. <laughs> well, I'm laughing, but it's like funny, not funny, right? The um, most amount of questions that I see in my social scoop group and on my Facebook business page here is specifically tends to be around, unfortunately, people's uh, Facebook ad accounts getting shut down and not being able to have access to it. And for some reason, basically like being thrown in Facebook ads jail, not just Facebook jail for doing all the wrong things in your profile, which can be like messaging too many people or, um, you know, um, commenting too rapidly or adding too many friends at once. Those are kind of red flags for not getting into Facebook jail, copy and paste in the same thing over and over real in rapid succession. But when it comes to your business, 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 business efforts on Facebook, number one, you know, it, as soon as you go to, to do ads, if you're using Facebook ads manager, you want to have obviously your pixel set up, have that in place. Um, even if you were like only using the boost button, there's certain settings that you need to have in place to, to really optimize that. But in any case, what I have found consistently on my different travels around the universe, um, when it comes to Facebook, people really struggle with business manager. And I have to tell you something. I wanted to jump on a quick live here and just share with you all that for me personally, I, um, struggled with business manager as well. Uh, when it first came out, I, I think I added, I had my ad account in there and then I had my business page in my business manager. And then some of you might remember, uh, I want to say two years ago that it was so, it was like really messed up in terms of the difference between using like access in your business page on desktop versus on your mobile, whether you're using the pages manager app or the regular Facebook app. And I know for me, like, <clears throat> excuse me, and I had my business page inside of my Facebook manager, business manager a couple years ago, I, it was so messed up. Like I would comment, I was thinking I was commenting as my page, but it was commenting as my profile. And I know there's a setting of course, and that was all the setting was checked and it was right. But I just got frustrated. I literally, I'll tell you friends, what I did is I literally went to Google. This is a couple years ago now. I went to Google and I Googled, how do I get my page out of Facebook Business Manager? Because I was over it. I'm like, I don't want to use this. This is messing up all my settings on mobile and so on and so forth. So I just decided to not do that. And I pulled it out. So I have my ad account in, in Business Manager in my business page. I just pulled it out. Now it transpires what's been happening. Some of you may or may not know this, that Facebook actually automatically creates business managers. You remember way back in the day when Facebook, I'm saying way back, like I'm not kidding, 10 years ago or more, 2010, yeah, easily 10 years ago, Facebook had all of these like company pages and then they brought in these Wikipedia pages and they're the ones like with a little briefcase icon and they're just kind of generic or it's like a little place icon and they don't really belong to anybody. They're just floating around there that were auto generated by Facebook. Well, you may not know this, but the same thing is happening now with business manager. You might not even realize it, but your business page on Facebook might be sitting inside and quote owned by an automatically generated business manager because Facebook wants business users to use business manager, whether you're doing any paid content or not, if you're running any ads and let's say you never touch the boost button, you never do ads, but Facebook wants business users to use an official business manager that's all properly configured and it's, it is, there's an, um, relationship, a correlation with your personal profile. I never even knew this myself, kind of like Facebook queen for like 13 years. And it's like, wait a second, 
I know, of course, Facebook knows everything, right? But it's very much connected to some of the settings in your personal Facebook profile to do with your email address, how you've got your friends set up, not who's your friends, but the visibility of friends and uh, apps and logged in sessions and all these different parameters that you have to have properly in place first on your profile. Then you got to make sure that your page is owned by the right business manager that you control that you control and it's unbelievable. I mean, this stuff is blowing my mind, my own mind. Like I say, I'm like, I'm a Facebook expert in this. It, it just is like, why is Facebook messing around with this? And then it dawned on me, I realized why. Those of you that have the new Facebook, right? Facebook has already said, I've posted about my page and some of you already been experiencing this, right? If you go to the new Facebook, uh, move my camera there the new Facebook um, and the drop down here menu, uh, what's happening is, there, and actually it says right here, you guys can see this, I'd be super curious how many of you actually have this, where it's coming up now in, right here on the menu. The classic Facebook will no longer be available starting in September. And also if you go to switch it, like if I click that button, it's literally gonna ask me, am I switching back because of missing features? I'm going to connect the dots for you here in a minute as to why we're focusing on business manager and what's the big, the bigger purpose and why Facebook's forcing us to use it. But, um, it's pretty bizarre. I kind of up like, I don't know, 14, 15 different set sections here, or areas, uh, or you can just skip that. You don't have to fill it in. You can just hit skip, but, um, I'm going to leave it there for now on the new Facebook because, ah, it automatically switched back. No, back, back, back. Give me, give me, give me new Facebook. Come on, Facebook. We were just doing a demo. <laughs> Settle down. Give me it. No. Okay, actually, it's not a bad idea. It's actually, let me do that because that's actually kind of fortuitous. Let me move my camera over there. There, I'll put it off my, over my picture. <laughs> because it is such a radical difference. The menu, the menu for all your different options on classic Facebook compared to news Facebook, new Facebook is so different. You can no longer get to business manager. It is such a roundabout palaver. And then even things like manage pages, groups, all this stuff in here, send money. I don't know. It just, they've, they've collapsed even getting to your pages, right? So if we, uh, you know, side by side compared those, it's just, you'll see when we switch by those of you that have to have made the switch, it's like your business manager disappear, it just disappears. And then here it even tells us. We've made improvements in the new Facebook. We're excited to have everyone experience the new loop before we make the classic Facebook unavailable. We hope you'll let us know how we can continue to make Facebook better for everyone. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is new. It's always it's always interesting to me. I like to take screenshots of things, you know, just in case next time you go to look for it. Whoopsies. Come back. I'm gonna go and just move my camera again. Cause you know, you know what I mean? Next time, next time you go to, to use it, uh, and like, where did that go? I want to take a screenshot. What was that thing that Facebook said? <laughs> so, um, I'll, I'll, I'll tie up the details for you here in a second as to why Facebook is changing to the new design and why they are forcing piece, uh, forcing the use of business manager for pages and, and why it's, it's critical that you you um, have the right settings in place and and definitely you can come and get support in my new course uh facebook marketing essentials season two come join us uh, i've made it super affordable if you are a season one if you already were participating with me in season one we've got a really great uh repeater price for you um, but i'll come back to my course there in just a second so we go over here to uh the, the profile or anywhere on Facebook where you click the menu and it's like, how do I get to my business manager? How do I get to my pages? And you have to go type them in in the, in the search. But now with Facebook forcing us to have business manager and having it only function optimally when you have all the right settings, I'm not kidding, it's bizarre. This is why I gotta do a whole module, we're doing a whole module um, in my Facebook Marketing Essentials course and so it starts with your personal profile, as I mentioned, there's numerous settings in there 
then it goes to your page and it goes to your business manager and it goes to your ads manager. And then there's all these settings inside of business manager. And I know, and I see some of your comments here saying, I hate, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're Mariella. She says, just go to business.facebook.com. You're absolutely right. I literally, what I did the other day is I'm okay. Now I'm, now I've got myself all properly set up. And then some things, if you make a change to business manager, what happens is that Facebook forces you to wait like a week. Um, you know what I mean? And so then you've got to wait a week. So now I have all my, like, this is my tabs, this is my Chrome extension, right? So on my Facebook page, like um, Mariella just said right there, that's what I've done similar here is I've just, I just bookmark it. So this Facebook page URL is business.facebook.com slash Mari Smith and even has my business manager ID there. Uh, but the thing is that blew my mind is my page was sitting there because I had pulled it out. If you just joined us, I was talking about how I'd pulled my page out of business manager because I just couldn't, couldn't stand it a couple years ago. <laughs> and I was like, it was messing up my mobile and commenting as me or the page and so on and so forth. So, but now I didn't even realize that they're, they're forcing you to have it inside a business manager because guess what friends, there's a huge part of this that is to do with mitigating any potential bad actors, fake profiles, all kinds of shenanigans, the closer we get to the US election. And so the more Facebook can have properly verified, verified emails, verified people, verified business managers, officially owned, all the settings properly in place, you know, the better. And they, they're trying their best to put all kinds of stop gaps in place to prevent people from just setting up a whole boatload of pages and shoving a bunch of ads out there. Of course, the ads have to go through the approval process, right? But a part of the approval process is actually automated, right? It is actually automated. So in any case, I'm now slowly turning back to having to be a Facebook business manager convert and being forced to use this. But what's astounding is when you have your page inside of business manager with all the proper settings and all configured with your ads manager, that you will start to see better performance on your page, both organically and certainly on the ads. Now for years, I have said to my folks, my peeps here, that, um, Facebook kind of has two different, well, there's probably three, but um, categories of advertisers, right? If you just tend to hit the boost button, those folks that predominantly only use the boost button and they're still advertisers, the minute you give Facebook a penny, a dollar, you're an advertiser, right? You're paying for, for um, an objective reach or video views or whatever, right? Traffic. So the moment you give Facebook money, you're an advertiser. If you use the boost button, you are what's known as kind of a, like a lightweight, more of like a novice, a novice advertiser, right? Because Facebook algorithms knows, the people know inside of Facebook and the algorithms know, the AI knows, if you're only using the boost button, you're not as sophisticated, you're not as serious, you're kind of just dabbling, dabbling with Facebook ads. And Facebook told me years ago, in fact, that you want to predominantly allocate budget to only about 10% to the boost button and the other 90% inside of ads manager which needs to sit inside of your business manager. Okay, so that's the uh, kind of novice, lightweight advertisers category one. Category two is those folks that do use ads manager inside a business manager. You got your pixel set up, you're using custom audiences, you're doing split testing, you, you really understand it. And then I, I threw a third category in there is the people, uh, people, the brands, you know, like the multi gazillion brands that work, they probably don't even use, they probably have their own sophisticated fancy schmancy <laughs> or they just get, you know, Facebook to do it for them or agencies or third parties or whatever. So they're in a whole other league of their own, right? The ones spending millions and millions every week and every month on ads. They, I'm sure they're not messing around with the same settings that we are um, in any case. So, but if we look hand in hand, with the proper settings for business manager, ads manager, your personal profile, all, I mean, like I say, I just, I just was tweaking things and shifted it all over and was working with an expert in this area. And it's so funny, right? Cause I, I've never professed to be an expert in absolutely everything to do with Facebook. I know a lot, a lot. I always love to take the broad big picture and integrate how the best marketing 
uh, methodologies can get you the biggest bang for your buck, you know, and it, it's a blend of organic and paid. And then there's a ton of, you know, people that go in and have their specific lane. They go really deep in a specific lane, if you will, specific kind of aspect of Facebook. And then the second aspect is specifically around uh, Facebook ads policies, because I mean, there's certain uh, words to, to absolutely avoid. Some of you might be familiar with them and, and, you know, Facebook is like some of the red flags, Facebook gets real ornery around, unfortunately, MLM, you know, direct selling network marketing is many, many, many of my clients over the years, over the last decade, I have keynoted and trained many, many, many of the major uh, network marketing companies. And uh, I will often train them on all kinds of really awesome organic ways because Facebook makes it a little tricky to do the advertising, but there's certainly ways around it. And then Facebook, some other red flags is they will literally go and their little AIs and their people too will go and look at like your landing page and your, your disclaimers and your call to action button. And of course the copy, you know, big no-nos or anything that could possibly come across as as um, controversial or obviously uh, racist or, you know, just, and then words that are like singling people out. And you've probably seen some of them before where it's like, if you start an ad that's going to say something like, are you, are you, are you suffering from, you know, constant headaches or, um, oh, you know, a couple others that I often get, I often get caught out on myself is the use of Facebook's own brand assets. So if you use the word Facebook or you use the word Instagram, your ad more than likely is not going to run, not going to run. So anyway, so what I wanted to point out, my friends, is that and in the Facebook Marketing Essentials course, this is season two, season one was January, February, March, Q1 of this year. And as I, on a previous live the other week there, I was demonstrating how since I led the last course, unbelievable, February, there's been 14, I counted up 14 different updates, all of which happened in the past six months. And then I'll be also covering in season two and you get instant access to season one. There's a ton of great content in there. So everything from Facebook shops, live shopping, which is not quite out yet, but I can't wait for that. It's gonna be a game changer, right? If I had a little buy button right here in the middle of my live and you can just go, Hey, you know, whatever I might be selling, whether it's a course or an info product, they're going to bring uh, features out for that. It's going to be predominantly retail at first, you know, product base hashtags, Instagram reels, messenger rooms, POE, POE. If you haven't checked out my live from yesterday, paid online events, I just did a live about that super popular. Uh, let's see this one. Had, yeah, had almost 9,000 views last I looked. So that one's doing really well. Obviously the new design, uh, forcing us over to that new design in literally, what do we have left? Less than two weeks. Today's the 19th by September 1. That's it. Bye bye, classic Facebook. They're going to force us all into this new way. And I, I know many of you probably have some aspects of new the new d desktop, right? This is not mobile. People are asking me, oh, where's my mobile going to change? Mobile was already changed like over a year ago. Zuckerberg first announced it's called the FB5. FB5 means that that's only the fifth time, the only the fifth time that Facebook has had a major design overhaul in their how old are they now? <laughs> Six, 16 years, right? 2004, uh, only the fifth time in 16 years, they've had a major design overhaul. And so, um, Zuckerberg first announced that like April of 2019, March, April, 2019. And this has taken them this long to get it rolled out to desktop. It rolled out pretty quick on, on, um, mobile, but on desktop, you're going to have dark mode. A lot of people prefer dark mode. I don't, I like light mode. Just, I don't know where our eyes are used to, right? But uh, a big part of it is the layout, is the layout and it's access to your business page. So, um, but what I especially want to draw your attention to is, and as I said in the description here, what I'm going to be including, scrolly, 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 is we have two additional bonus sessions. And I'm not kidding, in a couple of my emails that I've sent to my list, uh, some of you, who, uh, some, many of you are on my list and you'll, you'll know that I said it, that... Um, the, 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 the two sessions alone, you're actually added it here. The, these two sessions alone are going to be worth the price of admission. It's only 147 bucks, or you can pay uh, 77 times two super easy. So, and I'm not kidding friends, having the right settings and knowing the wrong ones could save you a ton of headaches, resources, and money. If you have, once you have your personal profile, your business manager, your ads manager, 
all set up properly with the right settings that Facebook needs from you to have uh, your pages and your ads working properly, you're literally, you're going to find you're going to get better organic reach. And then with the ads, could you imagine, if you, you know, and especially for anybody here, if you're like in real estate or if you're in direct sales or if you just in, you've had some challenges and you, you're, you maybe you don't even realize that you're using a keyword. Uh, so you need to know uh, about, really about Facebook ads policy. The person I'm bringing in for the Facebook ads policy actually used to work for Facebook. Um, he was with them for several years. And so he's been in the belly of the beast, as they say. <laughs> and uh, this is all he specialized in, the absolute genius on Facebook ads policy. And then the person I'm bringing in for Facebook business manager, that's all that person does, specializes in business manager. And so we're going to go deep into both. And I think you'll find it extraordinarily helpful. It will literally make or break your campaign. So really, really happy to, to get to dive in and the group of the Facebook group is open. We're ready for you to come on in anytime you're ready. And, uh, we got a great deal right there. Go to marysmith.com forward slash FB essentials. And, uh, you'll see it. You're going to learn so much. Um, along with those, the update with the 14 new changes and how they affect you and how you can take advantage of them and these two bonus sessions. And then we go right into over six weeks. And by the way, some folks have asked me, you know, when do I, how long do I have access? You, it's lifetime. You can, you get instant access to season one materials and uh, you'll get season two and there's no rush. You can pace yourself and join us. It's all led live, by the way. It's actually... Uh, what I do with the, each module is we'll, we ha we're inside of our Facebook group. And then I host every Tuesday, I host a watch party and I'm live in the comments with you answering any questions. And then each Thursday we come on camera and do live group coaching. If you don't want to be on camera, you just tune into the Facebook live, all replays. If you can't make the times, everything will be in the Facebook group and in our course hub, uh, which is think of it. We use a platform called think of it, which is awesome. So we start out by just really checking out your offer, making sure your offer is the right solution to the right problem, making sure you're uh, identifying the right ideal audience. A lot of people say, Mari, I've done so much avatar work. And then we start working with them and it's like, hmm, okay, well, maybe we better refine that. And then uh, organic, you know, you absolutely can still get amazing results organically. And especially when you have your business manager, your profile, you have all those settings properly configured you will see a difference in your organic marketing, your organic reach, which we love. Um, and then we switch into the paid, um, paid amplifying with paid on step four and conversions, meaning taking all your traffic and your engagement and your video views and just really taking your, your audience on a journey to get to the sale, to get to becoming, to becoming a customer. And then the community was something super close to my heart, right? Building your loyal community with meaningful social interaction. So uh, love to see you there, friends. Uh, yeah, you betcha. Absolutely, John. It's just uh, marysmith.com slash FB Essentials. See some great questions here. There you go, John. I'll just give him that link. marysmith.com slash FB Essentials. Hi, Catherine. How long does each course, you mean the uh, module, right? Each week. So um, on Tuesdays, we have the modules are anywhere from, 20, 30, 40 minutes. Sometimes I put two back to back, but it's usually going to be less than an hour. So one hour on Tuesdays and roughly an hour on Thursdays. And I say roughly an hour because what I do is that you can volunteer to be in the hot seat. And we have these wonderful hot seats. You get live group coaching. I can look at your page, look at your campaigns. We can pull it up on the screen, whatever you want, and then um, give you some support and everybody learns. And so we usually allow at least an hour on Thursdays. By the way, I should say for anybody that wants to get deeper help, you want some one-on-one -on -one support, we actually have this platinum upgrade option for the VIP one-on-one -on -one support. It's a tremendous way to get that individual support. So you actually get three sessions. You, you can bring your team. If you have someone that helps you, you have, uh, you have um, you know, someone that works with you on your ads or even just on your team, you can totally bring them on. So you've got your platinum there. We try to make that prices as reasonable as possible for you. So, um, you're welcome, John. Absolutely. And John uses dark mode. He says Angelica. Oh yes. And it's really interesting. I should maybe try that. I do tend to have light sensitivity myself too. Yeah. Thanks Angel Angelica, 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 beautiful name, beautiful name. Evie. Hiya Evie. Yes. Using the word use the reason why Facebook rep said my client's account was shut down. They shut it down. 
I mean, that just sucks, Stevie, doesn't it? I mean, I could see just approving an ad, but like totally shutting down an ad account. Presumably you're working on getting it back, but I just think that's nonsense. <laughs> no wonder we get frustrated at Facebook. Uh, Alice says, if you manage multiple profiles for clients, you do ask for them. Yeah, yeah, you're no kidding. But tr truth be told, Alice, the good news is that it can all be handled inside of business manager. When you have business manager, the client's business manager, like you will be, you obviously, maybe you have this all set up already, but you never, nobody ever, ever, ever should be two things. One, sharing a personal profile login. That's a big no-no. You, you don't want to be doing that. Remember, Facebook tracks everything. They know IP addresses, you name it, computers, who's logging in. It's like all these different people logging into somebody's personal profile to be able to manage a page and run ads. Mm -mm, that's, a, that's not going to get you the best results. No way. And then the second thing, which a lot of people do as well, is they'll just go ahead and set up a second, third, fourth, fifth Facebook account. And the rules stipulate you're supposed to only have one personal profile and you know facebook kind of knows and they let some people get away with it but still it's a challenge um hey audrey yeah the boost works best once the post has engagement i agree mm -hmm. the algorithm then does its best by knowing who to throw, <laughs> throw the ad to you know what i did audrey the other day is i did that on one of my instagram posts instagram so easy to just promote inside the app it's like tap 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 I was too lazy at the, <laughs> oops, I say that out loud. And then I was like, I think I'll just get a little more reach on this post. Why not, right? Instagram's like, hey, get more reach. And um, you could go in and drill down and pick your parameters. But I'm like, I think I'll just let Instagram decide. And that's what it said, you know, we'll, we'll get, Mari, we'll take care of, we'll take care of the audience for you based on your followers. But presupposes that you have all the, the right followers. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What are you saying here, Patrick? Nail in my nose. Seems like in a search marketplace. Um, hey, Patrick, you know what? You actually, marketplace, I don't know. I can't answer that. But you definitely can search your own timeline. Yeah, sure, you can search your own timeline. You need to search your own, but you know what? By post by others. Um, you go to, um, go to your profile. Whoops, let me share my screen, Mari. And uh, these three little dots here. And on news, when I call it activity log, and once you go into activity log, there's a search right there. Or there's a search right here, in fact, duh, it's right there. I'm saying duh to me, not to you. But it's a little search bar. On the new Facebook, it's right there. So you can search your profile there. Another nifty thing that I think a lot of folk don't necessarily know is filters. Yeah, actually here. So this is super easy to do on desktop. I mean, on, on mobile, you'll look for the little thing that says filters at the top. Uh, but this is a fun, a fun way to, to kind of look at your memories. Let's say I want to, what was I posting, you know, five years ago and you can just, and you'll post it by, by me, you know, and on, on, on this day or whatever. Right. So it's like, you can go and, and drill down and, and do that. And it's, that's a real, now obviously that's a bit cumbersome, but that's a, if you already knew, if you already knew like a specific date and time, you know, oh, look at that. I was speaking for Facebook. Coolio, I was on stage working for Facebook at the time. There you go. So yeah, and having, celebrating my birthday. <laughs> so anyway, that's the way so you can, you can easily find your memories on, on mobile or desktop. And then you can certainly use a little search bar. But in terms of marketplace, I would surely think that you can search marketplace. You know, what's interesting too is these little choices at the top here, which I, I do find a little frustrating. It's like you've got home, watch, whether you watch anything and watch or not, it's going to give you watch and notifications. They're people you've subscribed to. There's your marketplace that Patrick was just talking about. Groups are much more front and center. But gaming, I just think it's a waste of space. I don't ever going to, I'm never going to touch gaming. But um, marketplace... I don't know. Uh, I don't I mean it all goes relevant to your local area. Oh, it's right there. It's in the top left. It's in the top left, Patrick. You see up here, search marketplace. So I don't know. I don't know why you're not seeing those searches. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you're so right, Alice. I know. Yeah, and, and John, you're absolutely right. It's like the rejection process is automated. It's so true. Yeah, exactly. Making a big deal about special categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Jen. Business manager a synonym? No, no, it's not. Oh, but well, see, because I wonder if you're thinking about the pages manager app. There is a mobile app called 
um, pages manager, mobile, Facebook pages manager app. But business manager is, is absolutely um, a business manager, right? So here's, here's the app. It's the one with the little orange flag. That's called Facebook Pages Manager, and it's a mobile app. There, there is not, there's not a des- desktop equivalent, because um, you, it's basically Business Manager, right? So I'm managing my page. You always know because it's that grayish, that kind of ugly gray bar at the top, so like you know you're in Business Manager, right? But um, whether your page is in Business Manager or not, you can totally use the mobile um, little orange flag Business Manager, so. I mean, Pages Manager app. Sorry, I know, so many things, so many things. Uh, Let's see, anything else for you I can answer? Yeah, hey, uh, Angelica, I love new Facebook. Created an event my Facebook group. I know, I was just creating a couple of events this morning and it was a little wonky. Definitely a little wonky. Hey, yeah, Sandra was forced to the new Facebook today. The option switch back is a menu with a warning. Yeah, exactly, that's what we're all seeing. It'd be really interesting though, because I'm also seeing some comments of folks saying that... um, they don't. They don't have any. They don't have any choice to to switch to to new Facebook yet. So, I don't. It's bizarre. I was wondering if if Facebook really, really is doing this to all 2.7 plus billion of us come September. So we shall see. We shall see. Hey Alberto. Yeah. Oh, Facebook themselves kept switching you from new to old, and for the past month they only had it old. Yeah, I know. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, hi, Keith. How how you doing, friend? I love your profile picture. Those are the beautiful horses. Gosh, long time since we're in Puerto Rico. I know, right, Claire? God, straight. What am I doing here moment? Uh, oh, Carrie, I know. She see, Carrie's like, it's all I'm working on right now. Yeah, now is a good time. Now is a really good time. But if you get this handled, ideally before September 1, but certainly before before November, long before November. And yeah, Tazim saying it's so confusing. But the thing is, like, it's like once you really understand the distinctions, right? If you think anytime you're ever learning a subject, anytime ever any of us were learning a new subject, it gets... It gets confusing at first and you got to take baby steps and you got to get the proper education. Then you kind of understand, you kind of join the dots and you keep getting support. And Michelle, yeah, you're going to have to embrace business manager. (laughs) I always say hashtag resistance is futile. (laughs) Uh, Crikey. Oh, interesting, Evie. Yeah, so this was, uh, uh, she said, one of my clients kind of shut down. We had a meeting with someone from Facebook. He says because she was targeting people too directly by using the words you and yours. Yeah, so see, that's, see here, now Evie's bringing up a great point. It's unfortunate, but it is. Because what Facebook doesn't want to do is in any way, shape, or form indicate to regular everyday users, all of, you know, all of us uh, are regular everyday users as well, as uh, business user. And so imagine I'm seeing an ad and it was saying something like, you know, hey, Mari, no, it's not going to say my name, but I'll say something like, hey, you know, um, female and over 45, <laughs> over 50 um, in California. It's like if you if you are somehow in the copy, the copy in some way, shape or form is is too closely related to the targeting. We can totally do the narrow targeting. And it, to the point where it's going to spook the user and they think, holy crap, how do they know? Like, we've all seen those ads, right? We've all seen those ads on, like, I see them on Google all the time or, um, where, it, like, it's got your location and it knows a GPS and knows exa- exactly where you are. And it'll say, hey, people in San Diego found lower mortgage deals. And it's like, what's that got to do anything? Oh, because they're trying to say they know where I am. So, anyway... Oh, Christopher, you're funny. <laughs> Nothing says okay, boomer. More than an email address ending in AOL. Aye, aye, aye. Hey, Anthony, been gone for a while. Power Editor is long gone, many, many years ago. Yeah, Power Editor and Ads Manager merged and became one. Remember, what was it called? Light or something. I remember now, it was so many years ago, but I think it was something, or maybe it was just 
ads manager it was like light or something and then they had just a few features it was kind of like like the boost button but inside of ads manager and then power editor was like as the name suggests it was for power users um, and then they just merged the two and I was like ay 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 everybody's like holy moly hi Maureen welcome welcome nice to see you uh, Lisa still has a classic view hopefully you'll like it I know that's the thing whether you uh, like it or not oh you were using the groups app yeah so many it's so interesting when Facebook actually brings out an app they put out in beta they get people to test it and then for some reason and they always have a reason they're never necessarily going to share the the reason that we know public facing right but uh, I guess usually it's going to be a case of they just didn't have enough users um, uh, you know using the app uh, Hey, Marion. Yeah, see, Yahoo and AOL, American Online. Yeah, aye, aye, aye. And that's what Christopher was making the comment about. But it's really, really, if you have your own domain name, like I'm, you know, marysmith.com, it's like, it's just, it's, it's really going to have be a better email. But then probably, I don't know for certain. We'll, we'll get you some answers on that uh, if you're able to join us in the, in the course, Facebook Marketing Essentials course. But um, having, you know, more than one email and maybe having a, a Gmail or, Something like that. Um, hi, Anthony. I thought it was kosher on Facebook. I know. I know what you mean. They're literally giving you the option to toggle between profiles. It's bizarre that they do that, Anthony, even though supposedly it's in their terms that we're only meant to have one per person. Hi, Kamal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, come on in and scope it out and see once you start to take some of the modules. If you're like, oh, my God, I really love some help with this. And we're going to give you a, a special deal to, to upgrade to, to Platinum if you wanted to do that. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't personally ever work for Facebook. The person that I'm bringing in as a guest expert to lead to lead the session on Facebook ads policy. Um, this person right here, Facebook ads policy expert training. He worked for Facebook for a couple of years. I've been hired by Facebook as a subcontractor over many, many years. Oh, you probably were talking about my Minneapolis picture there. That's when I was on the road. I was on the road with Facebook f touring around the country, uh, U.S. in um a few years back, 2015. And then I've also done some work with them on their blueprint department. Oh, you know, now, if you don't need the captions on, Denise, like if you're, if you don't need the captions, I know what you mean, it's really interesting. Um, this is where Facebook does the captions. <laughs> there, I put the question above. The captions are coming on automatically and you control that, you the user. I could, I think there's a place I could totally disable them, but Facebook wants us to have captions this is another new area that all of us are going to have to sit up and pay attention to is that all of our videos are, need to have those srt files those uh, captions in them to build you know for future search purposes and uh, but the thing is uh, you can depending on if you're watching on mobile or desktop there's a little gear icon i think it's up in the top left or right tap the little gear icon and you can choose to turn off the, the captions but thanks for pointing that out denise Hi, Kamal. Is the program work for ad agency owners running ads for service providers, the coaches, realtors, health? Yeah, you will absolutely get some tremendous value, tremendous value. Um, and, you know, just really keeping yourself up to date on what's working, what's not. You can take some of the, you know, what you learn in the course and, and, and pass it along to your clients. The only thing I ask is you don't like blatantly copy the content of the, the whole course and pass it along to your clients. But but certainly uh, you will learn a ton and it's a great way to just always keep your finger in the pulse and, and uh, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead of your clients. So you can, you can shine. Uh, hey, Adriana. Yeah, see, she's expressing frustration here, Miss Adriana, that I think so many people, that's why I've hopped on this live here and specifically talking about how the two the two areas that I'm 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 positive that um, most every business user advertiser marketer on Facebook tears their hair out the most with is business manager and the ads uh, specifically the ads policy because if you can get your ads to work and you're singing and you're making great ROI and your revenues generating and it's all good and golden then you're fine with ads manager. 
But it's when the frustration comes around ads managers when you get your ads disapproved and you don't really know why, and then just they come back and say, hey, you were in breach of the community standards or the ads policy, and you're like, can you please give me a clue? Could you please give me a little more than that? Uh, but yeah, Adriana, and I believe a big part of what's happening right now, as I mentioned earlier in the lead up to the election, is that there's, they're getting tighter and tighter and tighter, and that's why some of these settings, you know, and if something gets... Um, you know, thrown off in the settings and all of a sudden somebody doesn't have access. And so, anyway. Hi, Christopher. Yeah, hot seats. Are, we're going to put uh, put some uh, fire under your butt, right? <laughs> hey, John, that's fantastic. 30,000 views sounds like a, like, like a good number. Hey, Andre, good to see you over here. <laughs> Kamal, absolutely. Replays, replays. Yep, everything on replays for sure. Ingrid, so the times, so um, I'm not sure what time zone you're in, but Tuesday watch parties are at 1 p.m. Pacific and uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> 4 Eastern. And hang on, I'll bring it up on screen here. And then I have a different time on the Thursday. Yeah, uh, the Thursdays are uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. So Six live watch parties are uh, one, one Pacific, four Eastern, and with instant replays. Everything is always instant because watch parties are totally replayable, and those are the videos. And then the Thursday sessions are 10 a.m. Pacific, one Eastern. And I know for anybody here who's, who's in Australia, I know those are those are challenging times for you, and I do, I do apologize, my friends, but um, uh, we'll do the best we can to catch you up. Hey, Christopher, thank you so much. Yeah, lots of live attention from both myself and my and really my whole team. You, you kind of almost get get this special special personal attention from, from my whole team. And then we have a lot of wonderful, wonderful sh um, contributions from, from a variety of experts who love to share their knowledge too. So we love that. And Kamal, I know I'm going backwards with my questions, but yeah, there's always, there's instant replays for everything. Yeah, you got it. Sweet. So, my friends, uh, come on over and I uh, hope I've answered all your questions. And this is great. And um, yeah, yeah. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, Brisbane. I know. So four, in the, four or five in the afternoon is a little bit better, isn't it? I know. I know. Well, unfortunately, I've already set the times, but... Um, it, no matter what time I pick, there's going to be some parts of the world that, that won't work for, for everybody. So, All right, my beautiful friends. Well, so we were just talking predominantly about uh, how critical it is that you get yourself used to using Business Manager with your page and, and you really deeply understand all of those critically important settings that are numerous ones inside of your personal profile and a whole bunch in business manager as well as ads manager as well as your page it all has to be properly synced up it's way beyond the scope of this live here today but that is why i'm having a specific um expert in that area coming in and leading a session exclusively for my facebook marketing essentials group as well as a facebook ads policy expert so you can have a much much better roi and results and and um and results, ROI, revenue, reach, and just, yeah, getting, getting a better leverage from the efforts that you're already making. You just, you know how you get in that place where you just don't know what you don't know. And it could be that you've got great content, you've got a great offer, and it's just like there's a couple little settings that are off kilter. And you don't even realize it. And so you're just, you're getting, you know, 20% less reach in almost all your posts without even realizing it. Or your ads are only performing at, you know, a certain rate because you just don't have it quite optimized. So that's what we want to help you with, friends. Okay. <laughs> oh, Christopher, that's cute. Business manager and I are frenemies, he says. Yeah, I know, I know, it's funny. Hello, Kim from San Francisco. Great, Roz, replay, good, good, good. So a few tips for you here. Love it. Uh, Sharon says, I will. I still have to find business manager, but on my personal profile email are verified. Oh, good for you. That's great. That's a good start. 
Good start. Hello, Liz. Thanks for sharing your knowledge when you stream. Are you doing directly through Facebook Live or another platform? Um, I am using Ecamm. Ecamm Live for Mac. So I absolutely love it. And it's so, so wonderful. Um, let me just get you a link for that. Anybody who's on a Mac, highly recommend it. I've been using Ecamm for, for a long time. Um, if you're on a Mac, check out Ecamm Live for Macs. Uh, for yeah, for Ecamm for FB Live. There you go. All right. Okay, friends, have a lovely rest of your night, morning, afternoon. We'll see you again real soon. Come on in to join us at marysmith.com forward slash FB Essentials. And we're going to give you all you need to know to make your Facebook marketing awesome and get better results. Cheers. Awesome. Hiya, Joe. I'm so happy to see hear from you. That's great. We'll see you in there. Bye, friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs>